What's next? So Stephanie showed you a bunch of gadgets. They're all client-side extensions. We want to show you next what you can do on the server side with robots. So let me just open up my inbox again. And instead of clicking New Wave, I'm going to hit this drop-down button here, and I'm going to hit this item called a New Poll. New Poll is just a new wave, but with a special robot that comes from an extension that you guys could build called Poly the Pollster. And I'll add stuff to the wave as well. P Polly added a form to the wave. Yes, and so this is not a gadget. Forms are native to wave. You can put them in there. And now I can fill out the form, starting with the title of the poll that I want to conduct. And you'll see, as I'm typing in the form, Polly sits on the server side. She saw that letter by letter, and she updated the title of the wave. Now, the really cool thing about having forms in Waves is that you can fill them out collaboratively. So Stephanie is going to fill in the choices while I add the question here. Which movie is the best ever? Question mark. And you see that Stephanie is filling in the options in the field below. Star Wars. Star <laughs> Wave. <laughs> Not on purpose. <laughs> Confessions of a shopaholic. So now Stephanie is going to fill out a number of people that we're going to send the poll to in the recipient list there. She's putting, yep. in, she's putting in six of them. Now I'll hit the button here that says distribute poll. Now what happens is that Polly sees that I hit that button. She fills in a results section in that same wave here. And then she sends out fresh waves with the questions we specified to all the recipients we specified. And Stephanie is one of them. So I'm going to answer the poll that Star Trek's my favorite. And you'll see that Polly updates the results live in the admin wave. OK, so that's the, an example of an extension built exclusively inside of Wave, uh, something uh, a friend of ours on the Google research team has been building over the past month. I saw it myself the first time just a few days ago, um, and it blew me away. So um, let's see. I'm going to make sure I'm on the right system here. I'm back on the sandbox. So again, we've been doing this demo on the system where we'll get you guys accounts. Now, Stephanie is going to log into um, an account of one of our colleagues, Alexi. And then I'm going to start a new wave. And I want to make sure you guys can see what we're typing by making this a little bigger, like this. Do you make your font bigger there, Steph? Yeah, I was going to wait till you started the wave. And then I'll start a new wave here. And I'll add Alexi, one of our colleagues. And then I'll add my all-time favorite robot called Rosie. Yes? So um, Alexi is from France. His English is not terribly good <laughs> for the purposes of this demo. <laughs> and Rosie is a robot that very kindly translates what I'm typing. Hello, world. What do you think of this demo? Of this demo. And now Alexi is typing in France, and I get to see him saying, ah, yes, since new we are in, can, use, used, translates word by word, character by character as he's typing. Rosie speaks, I believe, 40 languages. She can translate between any pair of them. Um, she's quite the thing.